Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Titi working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we will see what is revenue categories, expenditure categories and expenditure type and its classes. So we will start with what is revenue category. Revenue categories are used for grouping expenditure types and even types for revenue and billing. You can use revenue categories for budgeting, for reporting purposes and in your auto accounting rules. Revenue categories are also used for grouping expenditure types for revenue and billing. You have to assign at least one revenue category to each expenditure type and event type. What is the use of it? When you will recognize the revenue, it will be easier to understand from which expenditure type we have earned the revenue. So here, it is the example of revenue category name. You can see here, fee, labor, other payment and the description of it. Now we will see what is expenditure category. You have to create the expenditure categories to group expenditure types for costing. Here are the examples of expenditure category. They are labor, other expenses, expenses, chargeback, services and you can find out the description of it. Now we will see what is expenditure type and its classes. An expenditure type class tests Oracle Fusion projects how to process an expenditure item. When you create the expenditure, it is mandatory to mention the revenue category and expenditure category. So if you are creating the revenue category and expenditure category, you have to assign when you will create the expenditure type. Oracle Fusion Projects predefines all expenditure type classes which include the following that is straight time, overtime, burden transactions, expense reports, usages, inventory, miscellaneous transactions, supplier invoices, work in process. When you create the expenditure type, it is mandatory to assign at least one expenditure type class. You can assign more than one also but assigning one is the mandatory uh, task. Every expenditure type belongs to at least one or more expenditure type class. So these are the steps for performing these tasks. You have to select the offering as project financial management and in the functional area you have to select project foundation and these are the tasks for revenue categories, expenditure categories and expenditure types. Now we will move to our application to see how to do it practically. Go to setup and maintenance here. Select the offering as project financial management. In the functional area, you have to select project foundation. You can see the task here that is manage revenue category, manage expenditure category, manage expenditure type. Now we will click on manage revenue category. So we create the revenue category. So at the time of revenue recognition, we can see from which category revenue is arising. You can see here the lookup course. These are the lookup course which are predefined by Oracle. Now for creating the new one, we have to click on this add icon. Here you have to mention the start date. I am taking today's date. Here it is showing the format of the date. Now here you have to give the meaning.
if you want to give the description here you can mention it here So in this way, you can create the revenue category. Now you have to click on save and close. Now move to our next task that is manage expenditure category. Now click on add row. That means from this add icon, you can create the expenditure category. Now click on save and close. Here it is taking the date of starting date automatically. Now click on save and close. So this is how we created the revenue category and the expenditure category. Now where to use these categories. Now move to our next task that is expenditure types. Here you have to mention the revenue category and the expenditure category while creating the expenditure type. Now you can see these are the predefined expenditure type. This is the expenditure type and here you have to give the description. Here you have to select the expenditure category. You can see here this is a mandatory field. So while creating the expenditure type, you have to mention the expenditure category and the revenue category. You can see these are the mandatory fields and also you have to give the unit of measure. So if uh, it is related to labor, you can uh, select the unit of measure as hours. Say if it is the airfare, you can uh, measure in currency. This is how you can select the unit of measure. Now, there's one more thing that is very important and mandatory task. Scroll little down. When you will select this administrative, you will see below that it is assigned to one or more expenditure type class this is the mandatory field you have to assign at least one expenditure type class to this expenditure type you can assign one or more but assigning one is mandatory and then here you have to mention the reference data set for this expenditure type class you have to know one thing that this assignment of set is only for expenditure type class not for the expenditure type now we will create one you can see here the expenditure type class this is for administrative now if i will choose airfare you can see that expenditure type class has been changed this is expense report miscellaneous transactions supplier invoices you can select the expenditure type class as per your own requirement. Now for adding the new one, you have to click on this create icon. Now select the expenditure category that we have created. You can see here, this is today's date. So select this, this was the one that we have created. Now click on OK. You can see here, this was the one that we have created now. This is the revenue category like this. I just asking for unit of measure. I will take it as hours. Like this and click on OK. So we have created the expenditure type and we have assigned the expenditure category, revenue category and unit of measure now. The next mandatory step is 
to assign at least one or more expenditure type class. So click on this add row. Say I am taking it as straight time. Again, scroll little down and you have to give the set here. Click on this add icon. This is also a mandatory step. Now click on search. So I have assigned this set to expenditure type class and now click on save and close. So this is how we created the revenue category, expenditure category, expenditure type and its classes. Thank you so much for watching the video.